Are you broke? Are you lazy? Hey, what's up? It's Tisa, broke, lazy, and lost in Japan. And today, I want to share with you 10 things that you can easily whip up after work or over the weekend so you can skip going to sushi or sukiya and save some money. Number one, the easiest, I repeat, easiest thing that you can make is yakisoba. Fried noodles. I like to buy shio yakisoba, but you can also buy the one with sauce. Then I like to buy a pack of pre cut veggies, but you can also buy and chop up your own veggies if you like. So we get some oil, throw in the veggies, saute, throw in the noodles, fry it up. I bought some prawns, so I decided to throw that in too. Throw in the powder, fry it up, and voila! Yummy and nutritious. Number two, on my laziest nights, I like to make spaghetti. And a supermarket sells so many packs of instant spaghetti mixes. For example, if you feel like having some tarako pasta, just boil the spaghetti, make sure you add enough salt. Throw in the contents of the pack, give it a mix, sprinkle the toppings on top, and voila, tarako pasta. When I'm feeling a little less lazy, I go for aglio olio. So oil, garlic, you could use real garlic, but I just got this tube from the supermarket. And then chili. Throw in the spaghetti, throw in any ingredients you want. Today I'm going for a prawn aglio olio. And let's pretend I didn't run out of parsley. And you're done! Number 3. Fried rice. Again, the supermarket sells a wide variety of instant mixes. And I personally like the crab flavored one. So first, I do the egg, throw in the rice, and you can add anything you like. Like carrots, corn, meat. But I'm going with crab sticks and my favorite prawns. Throw in the mix, fry fry fry, and we're done! Number 4. We're going traditional with some saba and miso soup. Saba is easy. Just pick up the saba from the supermarket. Usually, I like to get the boneless ones, but they didn't have it today. Then you sprinkle salt on both sides and you fry it. Usually, Japanese kitchens would have the grill, but a saucepan works fine too. Now, miso soup. There's a lot of kinds of miso and frankly, I don't know the difference. So you just grab a random tub of miso and bring it home. We're starting out with some instant dashi, mix mix mix, and then in goes the miso. Then you throw in whatever veggies you want. I'm going with carrots, lotus root, enoki mushrooms, konnyaku, fish cakes, and tofu. If it seems like a lot, yeah, I kind of went overboard, but it tasted good anyway. And there you have it, a nice healthy Japanese meal. Number 5. Say you don't like miso soup. You can go for a healthy veggie soup. You can pick up a powder from the supermarket, throw it in the pan, throw in any veggies you like. The more the better. Mix, mix, mix. And there you have a warm, healthy veggie soup. Perfect to accompany your meal. And today, I felt like having some battered fish. So I cut up a filet into bite-sized pieces, seasoned with salt and pepper, prepared the batter, which is just flour, potato starch, and water. Mix, mix, mix. And I coated the fish with some flour before dipping it into the batter and frying it up until it's golden brown. You could fry up some fries and make some fish and chips, but I'm Asian so I need my rice. And we're done! Number 6. When you're sick of white rice, how about trying something different? So in the supermarket, they sell so many instant packs to switch things up. Today, I'm going with this chicken kamameshi mix. All you have to do is add in the contents of the pack, give it a good mix, and let the rice cooker do its thing. To go with the rice, I decided to make some karage. Store-bought karage is great and all, but you can make so much more if you make them yourself. Just get your favorite cut of chicken, cut it into bite-sized pieces. I like to put it in salt water just so it gets really soft. And then I marinate it in soy sauce, rice vinegar, cooking wine, ginger, and garlic. And I give it a good mix. So I mix up flour and potato starch, mix mix mix, and throw the chicken into the mixture. I make sure it's evenly coated, and then I fry it until it's golden brown. And there you have it, a hearty and delicious meal. Number 7. Udon is another easy meal to fix up. I bought the noodles and the soup mix from the supermarket. You boil the noodles, prepare the soup, just pour in hot water and mix mix mix. In goes the noodles and whatever toppings you like, and you're done. When I'm not that lazy, I like to make tempura something just to go along with the udon. Maruten udon or beef udon is really good too. Number 8. Gyoza and tamagoyaki. I don't normally eat it together, but we're just throwing together whatever we have in the house. I get a pack of frozen gyoza and throw it into the pan. And you don't even need to add oil or water or put a lid on it. Just leave it in the pan and once the bottom's crispy, flip it out. Gyoza goes really well with noodles. Now, tamagoyaki. I've always been scared to make it, but it wasn't as hard as I thought. I cracked some eggs, added water and sugar, whipped it up, poured a portion of the egg into the pan, flip flip flip, Pour it more into the pan, flip flip flip, repeat the process until the egg's all gone, and you're done! Number 9. 
お役どん I've always thought this name was really cruel. It literally means parent and child rice bowl because you're eating chicken and eggs. But it tastes so good and it's really easy to whip up. Break some eggs into a bowl and mix, mix, mix. Add water and your chicken and then some soy sauce, rice vinegar, cooking wine, sugar, salt, onions, and mix, mix, mix. Pour in the eggs. And I don't have a pretty bowl, but here's your oyakodon. Number 10, okonomiyaki. Another intimidating thing to make. But Japanese mothers can make this with their eyes closed. You can chop your own cabbage or grab a pre sliced pack from the supermarket. While you're at it, grab an okonomiyaki powder mix and follow the instructions to make the batter. Mix, mix, mix. Throw in your cabbage. And you can arrange it however you like by adding meat, seafood, etc. Mix, mix, mix. Throw it into the pan. Flip it over, throw on the sauce and the mayo, and you're done! Now, I'm obviously not the best chef, but these are some examples of what I make on a regular basis. And I didn't really do any cooking before I moved to Japan, so if I can do it, you can do it too. If you have any easy recipes or dishes to recommend, please leave them in the comment section so I can give them a try. See you!